Okay guys, welcome back to Engineers Academy. Hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time. Now we are going to solve this problem which says that the 1000 pound elevator is hoisted by the pulley system and motor M. With the motor exerts a force of 500 pounds. So let me write that the motor force is 500 pound. On the cable, determine the power that must be applied to the motor at the instant the load has been hoisted 15 feet. Starting from rest, the motor has an efficiency of 0 0.65. So now again, uh, we are required to find the power that must be applied to the motor. So the power applied to the motor will be equal to F times V. And we have to find the force and the velocity that is applied to the load, to the elevator. So for that, if I consider the free body diagram, so the motor is pulling with a force of 500 pounds. So if we consider the free body diagram and if I cut these three ropes here so then we will have that 500 force here this is 500 this is 500 pound this is 500 and this is 500 and if we if this is my positive y direction and this is my positive x direction so if i apply the summation of forces along the positive y direction and that will be equal to m a y so as we can see that we have 500 plus 500 plus 500. So we have 3 into 500 minus the weight of the elevator. So the weight of the elevator is 1000, right? So we will write minus 1000 and this will be equal to mass. So the mass is 1000 divided by G value. So that is 32 points. So this is weight divided by G. So this gives us mass times the acceleration in the y direction. So this is uh, 3 into 500 is 1500, 1500 minus 1000 is 500 equals to 1000 divided by 32.2 Ay or we can say that Ay is equal to 32.2 into 500 divided by 1000. So this will be the acceleration with which the elevator is moving in the positive y direction so that is 32.2 into 500 divided by 1000 so this is 16.1 16.1 feet per second square so this is the acceleration of the elevator in the positive y direction now we have to find the velocity since in this equation we require the velocity and the force applied by the motor to this uh, elevator is 3 times 500. So we know the force, we have to find the velocity. So as we know that it is given that uh, it starts from rest, so we can apply the kinematics equation. So we can write that 2 AYS minus S naught and this is equal to V square minus v naught square so s naught is zero initially if we consider s naught is zero and s is 15 feet right so we can write that two and a y is 16.1 and s naught is zero so s is 15 this is 15 minus zero and initial velocity is zero as well so this is v square or we can say that velocity of the elevator is equal to this thing right so this is v and we can find this this is 2 this is square root 2 multiply by 16.1 multiply by 15 and this is equal to 21.977 21.977 feet per second now we can put all those values in this equation so the power that must be supplied to the motor is equal to the force. So force is 3 times 500 into this velocity which is 21.977. So 3 multiplied by 500 multiplied by 21.977 and this gives us 32966 approximately 32966. 
and the units are pound feet per second so this is the power output we need to write that this is the power output that power which is obvious to us that is the power output so the efficiency of the motor is uh, 0.65 so we have to apply the definition of efficiency right so efficiency is equal to power output divided by power input and we have to find the power input the actual power that motor needs to provide is the power input so that is power input equals to power output divided by efficiency which is 0.65 so power output is 32966 divided by 0 0.65 32966 divided by 0 0.65 this gives us 50717 so this is 50717 pound feet per second and now if you want to have the the motor power the input power in horsepower then we can write that power input is 50717 pound feet per second and as we know that one horsepower is equal to 550 uh, pound feet per second so we need to divide that power input by 550 so 50717 divided by 550 so this gives us 92.21 so the power input in horsepower is 92.21 horsepower so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope uh, this will help you in your learning do let me know in the comment section if it helps in your learning also like this video if you people want me to continue solve all these problems from hibler dynamics